Mr. Hermes Shaheen. Mr. Hermes Shaheen is a Deputy Secretary for, uh, General at the Assyrian Universal Alliance, AUA. Uh, he was born in Iraq. Uh, he received his bachelor's degree in physics, and he left Iraq in 1981. He comes to us from Sydney. Um, my question to you is, what, is the, what are some sentiments that you'll be taking with you as an Assyrian uh, to Sweden, uh, to Australia? Well, there is a lot of things that I'm going to have to take with me because um, uh, I wasn't expecting uh, really what I've seen here. First of all, um, we have heard that um, we have a community in Israel, but uh, we couldn't, uh, we tried to establish communication with them, but uh, it was very hard because uh, you know, in Arab countries, there is no way that you can communicate with Israel. And you can even mention, you cannot mention the name of Israel. Mm -hmm. So in the diaspora, it was really a good opportunity for us to establish that connection. And of course, we used Australia as a platform for that. And we built connection with the Israelis in, uh, in, uh, in Australia. And uh, we had a very good connection with them for the last maybe uh, 12, 13 years. We have continuous uh, relation with, uh, with them. And uh, recently we were also blessed that um, um, some other uh, Assyrians established connect connection directly with our people in Israel. And one of them was uh, uh, Dr. Yaakov Moaz. Um, and uh, I was very pleased that I spoke to him and um, I couldn't believe what he was saying um, unless I could come here and see that, uh, you know, uh, in my eyes, you know. And uh, honestly, um, what we have seen, it was not what we expected. It was over our expectations. So we are very happy that uh, finally we had a connection. And this connection is an opportunity for both of us, for you and for us, um, that uh, we keep um, this uh, bridge, uh, we build on this relation, and we try to um, encourage both sides to have more uh, cultural um, e e connection, uh, bring uh, uh, our people here and bring you guys to come, uh, whether into Australia or, or other countries uh, that the uh, Assyrians are living. So that's one of the things that uh, will bring us closer together. The other thing is um, also uh, what the uh, uh, most interesting thing for us is that um, uh, we have seen uh, that um, most of the uh, Assyrians um, the uh, Jewish Assyrians, they call themselves that they are Kurds. And that was also uh, the thing that we, we are trying to work on it. And uh, thank you for uh, Jakub and other fellows that uh, during these days that we are here, and we can see that there is, uh, the, there is a good nationalism out of all of them, and they call them themselves Assyrians. And this is very important to us because like a mother that have lost her, their, her children, now we are looking for uh, those children to find them. Because um, uh, if we want to build a nation, we cannot leave any Assyrian anywhere. We have to go and find them and uh, build that dream that we have. One day we will have our Assyria. And Israel is, uh, has a very uh, special place in the Middle East, and it has a very important place in the Middle East, because if Israel prosper, we have a chance to prosper in the future. So that's why we are building this relationship, uh, not uh, only uh, because we, we have Assyrians here, but Honestly, we have uh, some other roots that go back to biblical. We have uh, connections biblically 
uh, and uh, we have to work on that uh, connection. Uh, since that um, uh, many wars happen in the Middle East, and when Israel wa was attacked during those wars, we were very worried because if anything happened to Israel, what's going to happen to us living in that part of the world? So uh, really, we are very happy to be here, and uh, we will work to build that connection and uh, try to try to revive the uh, the language, the Aramic language, and uh, try to 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 work with you to st to make you our ambassadors in this country to work for toward Assyria. And thank you very much. You mentioned uh, you, you referenced the Bible. I don't know how many.